Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about cloud computing. You must have heard about cloud computing. So what does it mean to you? And what are the different types of cloud computing? Let's start with a simple example. Let's, uh, let's say that you and your family has visited a hill station and you have a lot of memories from there. You have taken photographs, you have taken videos. Now you want to transfer them to a hard disk so that you don't have to use your memory of the mobile again because mobile phones have limited memory. Now you are transferring it to hard disk whether it's of the laptop or an external. As you're transferring suddenly a pop-up comes in as you can see. Now you have a problem. The space in your hard disk is limited. So what is the option you have? You can go back and check if you have files which are of no use to you. So you delete those files and make space and copy the pictures and images and videos into the hard disk. But how long can you do that? At some point in time your hard disk will get full. So what is the option? You go and buy a new hard disk which will cost you some X amount of money. Even if you may not need that much of space, you still have to buy a complete hard disk. And imagine if you don't have an external hard disk, you have no option but to change your PC or the laptop to get that additional space. In any ways, it is going to cost you some thousands of rupees or some hundreds of dollars. Now think about a situation where I tell you that you don't need to worry about going to a shop and buying anything. You tell me how much extra space you need. If you need 2 GB, you will get 2 GB. If you need 3 GB, you will get 3 GB. And most importantly, you can do this without going anywhere. You can do it online. So if you need extra space, you simply place the order online and you get that extra space. Third and the most important part is you are only paying for the space which you are buying. So if you are buying 2 GB, you are only paying for 2 GB. Now this is what cloud computing is all about. It's a virtual expandable service which is available online. Now looking at the storage example again, have you used Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox or something similar? They all provide you virtual storage which can be expanded on demand. And also please remember, you don't have to worry about managing it. In your ownership of a storage device which is external or your PC, what if your hard disk gets corrupt? You have a problem. You have to go to somebody who can recover the data and most of the times it's garbage. In these cases, which are online storage platforms, you don't have to worry about these things at all. They manage it on your behalf. So this is one form of cloud computing. There are other forms of cloud computing which are also available. Now, before we get into other types of cloud computing, it's time to look at the formal definition of cloud computing. So cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power without direct active management by the user. Active management by the user who is using these services. Like you, if you're buying the hard disk from Google Drive, you don't have to manage, they will manage it on your behalf. You are just getting the space. And what kind of services are we talking about? The definition said about computer system resources. Now let's take some examples of a few companies to understand what types of services are available on the cloud. So let's continue with the Google Drive or OneDrive, the virtual storage space. Here you are getting the hard disk or the storage space as a service, which means that you are getting 
infrastructure as a service. This type of cloud computing is called infrastructure as a service or IaaS. So all these companies which provide you space or even servers, think about the hosting service providers like GoDaddy, Hostinger, Bluehost. These are the companies which provide you servers, the hard disk, the memory to host your website. So companies host their website on these servers. For example, Tech Canvas and Tech Edge, we host it on different servers. These are also providers of infrastructure as a service. Provided they can expand it as and when required. Please understand that the hosting service providers provide different kinds of services. One where the server configuration is fixed. If you have to change it or increase it, you have to move to another server. But these companies also provide the cloud option where you don't have to worry about whether you have to move to a new server, new IP. You just ask them to increase the hard disk, to increase the RAM and so on. That is the infrastructure as a service type of cloud computing. Now let's look at some other companies. For example, Salesforce. Salesforce is a company which offers customer relationship management software to customers. This is a type of software which enables a company to manage its customers, to serve them better and also to be able to cross-sell and upsell. You can see the pricing, the way it works. It is offering you the CRM software per user basis and you can pay monthly as well as annual. So let's say today you think that only one person in an organization can use this software. So you buy for one user. But tomorrow, five new users come in. You don't have to worry about it. You just place an order for four additional users and you are done. So now you are only paying for one. Now you'll be paying for five. Now tomorrow, if the number of users come down to three, to two, you decrease it accordingly. This is the type of cloud computing where Salesforce is offering you the software as a service. This is called SaaS, software as a service. The third type is called platform as a service. Now, this platform as a service is a little more complex to understand for most of us. So think about Salesforce. Is, the, is it possible for us to use the Salesforce as a platform to develop applications of, of our own similar to CRM. So Salesforce offers a platform known as force.com where you can go and develop applications using certain features which are similar to Salesforce. This is as simple as I can explain. So the third type of the cloud computing is platform as a service and in this case there are many companies which are offering these services for example Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. It's also noteworthy to understand that these companies which I talked about AWS and Azure actually offer all the three types of services. These are much larger companies and they have the infrastructure and the computing power to offer everything. So this was a video on cloud computing. If you want more detailed information, please give me comments and I will be happy to create a more detailed video on cloud computing. Thanks for watching it. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe the channel and click on the notification button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.